Okay, uh, today we're going to be talking about surviving the coming meteor shower. Uh, a lot of people think that you're hopeless and you're helpless and you can't do anything. And that may be the case, but I doubt it. I believe there's always something that you can do, so we're going to be talking about that today. So, things that you can do, you know, with just a little bit of money. So, um, they, show, they sell these metal um, sheds <coughs> at a Home Depot. And you can buy a metal shed. Uh, you can reinforce the shed with wood. So, I would suggest 4x4s four in the inside to reinforce that shed to make it tougher. You know, put a flooring in, a uh, ceiling in. And you can get all of this at Home Depot. Uh, then you can put uh, metal piping on the outside. And this can be built inside your house, close to a door where you can get out. Or it can be built in a driveway, or it can be built in a garage. But uh, the metal piping should be around the whole body of it. And this metal piping is pretty cheap. It's uh, for a half inch, it's two dollars and fifty cents per pipe and you can get something to cut the pipe you know to, to fit it around uh, they have these uh, little electric soles or something like that and then they have the blade on it and the blade cuts pipe so you can get a le electric saw on the blade to cut the pipe and then the, the little clips over to the right hand top side is uh, which you can drill it right into the um, metal frame so you can secure it from the inside and out okay and and that's a little shelter so it's, a, it's a meteor shelter you know make sure that piping is all the way around that thing it don't have to look pretty you know it just have to do the job to protect you and your family this mass here is best for um fires supposedly you know i ain't never been in the fire to know which the best mass to use but according to them who use masks, uh, they said the Neusch uh, N95-100 or P100 uh, particulate respirator is the um, best mask to have. And basically, you know, I would have some where you can change these masks out if you need to. So you're going to have to breathe because if your house get, have ever got filled with smoke, you want to open up windows. There's no window. Everything's gonna be on fire, you know, when in a meteor shower. So there's no windows to open. You know, you open up windows, you're gonna make it much worse. So you're gonna need to breathe. So have this uh, this type of mask right here. You're gonna need uh, goggles, maybe. You know, so uh, because you're gonna to want to be able to see when, when in a fire or any smoke like that, it start burning your eyes. And so you, you're going to want to see as much as possible because uh, you never know what's going to happen. And believe it or not, a trash can, a metal trash can in a meteor shower. Why? Because uh, if you put water or try to put out a meteor, they can explode. You know, it's, it's that hot, you know. And then you're going to get shrapnel all in, inside yourself and you don't even want that. You know, or you're going to put your eyes out or cause more damage and more fires trying to put out. Uh, it's best to contain it. So, a metal trash can and then a shovel. Get a shovel. And uh, basically, because you ain't going to be able to pick up a meteorite. It's too hot or too cold. Pick it, get the shovel and put it right in the trash can and put a lid on it just to contain it and have something maybe where it can blow the smoke out or whatever or just put it in an area where you ain't gonna be breathing you know you, you can have room to breathe okay uh, water I suggest that you get water and you put it in a trash can to have it in your area because even though that you know you contain in these things one might get lodged in the wall or something like that and start a fire so you would want to have water and stuff like that to put out these little small fires or something like that whatever you can do and then I would say fire extinguishers as many as you possibly can have you know for fires do not put it on the meteorite put put the put it on the wood the fire candles 
Lights may go out, electricity is going to go out, it's going to be fiery and dark. The candles should stay lit and you should have candle holders and have them to your wall where even if it's an earthquake it's not going to fall over. So get the kind of candle holders that's going to hold the glass candle inside the holder whether it shakes or not, you know. And so, yeah, you would need candlelight. And don't trust the flashlight, don't trust anything because you never know what a magnetic, uh, you know, pulse or anything could have an effect on, you know, your electronics. I would say first aid kit. Despite all your efforts, you may get hit with a small meteorite or even a large one. And basically, uh, it ain't no time to sit there and whine and die over it. You know, you got to save your life and you got to, don't be sitting there running around with like a chicken with your head cut off. You got to use some intelligence right now, people. And so you're going to have to just uh, do your best to wrap it and, and, and stop the uh, pressure points where the blood is going out and everything else. Just do your best to, you know, take care of that wound real quick. So you're going to have to have a good first aid kit, kit with gadgets and, uh, you know, wraps and everything else in there. You're going to have to have a food and water supply. So um, make sure you got enough food and water, you know. Uh, just I would say three days to a week you know depending on the distance to everything get normalized to some degree again and then uh, a sledgehammer because you put all that metal piping and everything around it and you build this thing tough you might have to get out of there maybe a big meteor blocked the door or something you know so you might need a sledgehammer to break your way out of there don't be trapped in there and just become uh, in, put in the oven you know, and then you cooking like chicken in the oven. And a pickaxe, just in case you had to just break some holes in something and get the hell out of there. And so, uh, if you guys can think of anything else that would be good in this, because just like I said, it's not good to put out metal fires. It's good to let metal fires burn. You know, and these things, they don't teach you at school. And they don't teach you this anywhere. Look it up, you know. And so, uh, it's not common knowledge. So... Hopefully this has been a big help for you. Raptor News.